All right guys, Rich here from the RC Network and this is gonna be update number two on my project SCTE converted into an eight skill buggy. Now, this is not my original idea. I have seen Squirrel on YouTube also do this and I know that MIP is also working on this concept vehicle. Now, the whole idea is basically to take a low-C SCTE Throw on the MIP performance kit, which not only makes it drive better, but also lightens it up a bit. And then converting it in to make it look like an 8-scale buggy. Now it's still a short course truck at heart, and you're only running it on two cell electronics. So in other words, a 540 sized motor, a 540 sized ESC if you got one, and also two cell or 2S LiPo electronics and batteries. So... Pretty cool concept. Uh, we will be doing a full weigh-in of this vehicle at the very end of this video, so no fast-forwarding. So let's get to uh, what I've done. I've, I pretty much completed it. I'm ready to start testing it out. I just have uh, some tires to glue up. You will see the tires on there. I just kind of have them form-fitted right now uh, so I could cut this video. So my last video, I kind of went over all of the the nooks and crannies of everything. I will go over it one more time just so you guys got it, and there will be a full clickable links list in the video description so you know exactly where I got the parts at. So um, pretty much you take a low-C SCTE. I have not messed with any of the setup of my SCTE. I'm pretty much going to run it the way I had as a short course truck and then kind of tune it from there. So I left... The diff's the same, the shock's the same, all the same setup as far as the uh, suspension, and we're going to go from there. Um, I have rebuilt everything, though. I took every diff apart, every shock apart, and kind of made sure everything was good so this 8-scale buggy concept gets a fair chance. Now, some of the major parts that you do need to get, you need to get a wing mount, which also includes the body mounts. You also need a front bumper here. You need different shock towers, which I just use the TLR tuning kit shock towers. Uh, you don't want to use the MIP ones. They're just a little bit too wide, and they're only three millimeters thick. These TLR tuning kit ones are four millimeters thick. Other thing you will need, you will need eight scale or 17 millimeter adapters for your wheels, and they have to fit an SCTE. SCTE, they, they use a little bit thicker stub axle, so I found these from M2C Racing. As far as wheels, you can pretty much use any 8-scale wheels. There are tons out there. I just picked up the Proline uh, Velocity version 2 white disc wheels. And these are some fresh Proline Ions. They are the MC compound because I do plan to run it on a clay track. The wing, just a Proline wing. That's just their standard high downforce wing. And that's basically it. You do need a buggy body. I ended up using the body from an 810 from Losi. I had to somewhat customize it because it doesn't fit exactly. The, the body posts are a little bit lengthened on this particular uh, truck on the MIP conversion. So I had to kind of, you know, use your Kanagan and uh, figure out where you need to drill those body holes. Do not uh, by any means drill where they say to drill. All in all, the buggy turned out very nice. I can't wait to get this thing on the track to see really how well it will perform. You'll see I have these little kind of protectors here. These are off of a HPI Vorza. They're eight scale buggy. It just kind of protects the shock tower from getting hit too hard. And that's basically it. Let's take a look at the electronics and everything on the inside. So I am using the Pro 4 4300. That is their 550 sized motor from Tekken. I also have their RX-8, uh, Savox 1258 TG, just got a basic SR301 um, surface receiver. You can pretty much use any two-cell LiPo. The higher the C rating, the better. I just got a black series in there. I was testing it up and down my street the other night. Other than that, you're set. This thing is uh, very fast, at least down the street. So we'll see how it does on the track. Um, let's talk about weigh-in. Let's weigh this thing in. I'm going to bring the camera a little bit closer here so we can uh, take a look at really how this thing weighs in. 
Got my handy dandy Cuisinart food scale. I do have a stand mounted on top, but we'll make sure that that goes down to zero. And let's go ahead and turn this thing on. And we have full zero right there with the stand on top. Just a little trick there. Let's go ahead and weigh this thing. And this thing's full ready to run. There's nothing left off of it. I will throw the body on here in one second. There we go. And I'm going to grab the camera so you guys can see this. And we are airborne. There we go, guys. 5.86 pounds. This thing will definitely fly. So that's it. That's it for my 8 scale buggy little concept vehicle right here. I can't wait to get this thing on the track. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to throw it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.